In this video, we're going to take a look at and see how to perform a couple of different very common Excel functions, calculating the mean, median, mode, and standard deviation. Uh, and these are actually pretty easy to do in Excel um, with a little bit of practice, and you can have Excel do all of the equations for you very, very quickly once you learn how to do this. Um, I have a group, uh, some data sets here, and I'm actually going to add in something to this. These are different trials, so I'm going to write in trial here. And I'm going to label this, this trial 1, 2, and 3. Now I could continue to, to make this list if I wanted to. Um, but there's a faster way you can do this in Excel. If I highlight these three numbers, and I know that I want it to be 4, 5, 6, etc. I've highlighted these three numbers, and if I move my mouse so that I get the black little plus sign right on this little blue box right here. And if I click and drag down as far as I want to, Excel will automatically input numbers based off of this sequence. So what it's done is it's taken boxes one, two, and three here, and it's recognized that as a sequence of counting, and so then it's filled out the rest of them. And I could have this go down as far as I wanted to. So it's a quick way to, to make a list. Um, anytime you want to do this, you have to have three in a row at least in order for it to work. Um, so I've got my trials there. These are different trials um, if we were measuring enzyme concentration based off of the number of drops. So I've got one drop, two drop, three drops, and four drops. And I want to calculate the mean, the median, mode, and standard deviation for these. Now, to do this, um, to do this, uh, anytime you want to insert a function or a formula into Excel, um, you have a couple of options. The first would be to go up to the formulas bar or table here. And you can actually look up all of these. Um, a lot of these more common ones are, are pretty easy to do. And so for mean, um, Excel actually uses the word average. And anytime you want to put in a function or a formula, you always start with equals. That's telling Excel that you want a formula to be in this, in this box. And so I'm going to type in equals. And since Excel uses average, I'm going to start typing average, AV. And you can see it pops up right away because it's a very commonly used one. I'm going to select that. And then it's going to give me two parentheses uh, marks. And so I'm going to select the data that I want it to calculate the average. So I'm going to do that for this row right here, this column, excuse me, and press enter, and it's calculated the average for me. Um, now I can do the same thing. Again, we'll go through that step one more time. Press equals, start typing average, it's right there, and then I'm just going to highlight my data. And I could do that for every one uh, of these. It would take a little while, but I could do that. Uh, but there's another quick trick that Excel will allow you to, to calculate this. Same thing as we did with our sequence here. If I click on the box that I, uh, that I have this formula in, and if I click on the little blue icon, move my mouse over the blue icon, I get that little black cursor. If I click that and drag over, Excel is going to automatically use that same formula, average in this case, in these next two columns using the row of uh, the column of data above it. So what it's doing right here is calculating the average for E3 to E14, E3 to E14, and same thing for the F column. And so that just speeds up this overall process. So I've got all of my averages there, right there. Quick, done. Uh, the next one I want to do is the median. And here's median. And so again, just highlight all of those numbers press enter and I'm just gonna quickly drag all of these across like so so I've got my median right there um, mode if I wanted to calculate mode I don't think we'll have any reoccurring numbers but we could do that um, I'm gonna click mode and highlight all of these and in this case because there's not any reoccurring numbers it's gonna give me NA or not available and it's actually gonna do that for all of these because there's no repeating numbers here um, if you wanted to, you, you, if your data, if you had repeating numbers, mode might be helpful. The last one that we're going to calculate is standard deviation. And so I'm going to set up the same way. Um, but in Excel, there's a couple different standard deviation functions that you can use. We're going to use one in particular. And I'm going to start by typing ST. You'll see that there's a number of different options here. Stedva, STD, EVA, um, P, S. There's a couple of different options here. We're going to use the STDEVA, and what this is doing is this function is a standardized um, standard deviation function for a sample of the population. Uh, generally in biology, when we are calculating standard deviations, we're not going to have the entire population, like in the whole planet, 
uh, or in the whole ecosystem. And so we only generally have a sample of that entire population. So this standard deviation function calculates for that, assuming that we have a sample of the overall population. So I'm going to select that, highlight my data set, and press Enter, and then drag my box over. And so now I've, I've got um, the mean, the median, the mode didn't exist in this case, uh, but then I also have the standard deviation for this group of data. It's pretty easy once uh, you've figured out that those are the uh, simple equations to use for calculating mean, median, mode, and standard deviation.